doing? Y'all, y'all doing good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my name is um, <laughs> my name is Cleopas Johnson. I'm here to tell y'all a story about my great great grandfather. Um, I call him grandfather. Um, grandfather was of the smartest of the most slaves. As a matter of fact, he was probably one of the dumbest. <laughs> grandfather's making his way over to the big house. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> the big house was uh, massive. Um, uh, 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 Missy Ann and uh, some of the other house slaves uh, where, where they would live at. Um, and grand, grandfather was uh, making his way over to the big house and getting masses of uh, reading quarters and crack open those books. <laughs> and just like clockwork, we got all that nose and big old books that he got. A massive, massive say, boy! What you doing to these books, boy? And Master would beat him and send him, send him right back over to the slave quarters. But just like clockwork, every time he's back with heels up, the grandfather was making his way right back over to the big house and giving masses reading quarters and just crack open those books. And it was like one time, he, like the words and the pictures and, and the letters all started making sense to him. And he got all excited and started dancing and such. And, and the master saw that big old juicy smile he had on his face. And the master kept looking at his eyes like he was like he was recognizing what he was reading. And the master got so bad, that guy so angry. The master said, "Boy, what I told you about getting these books, boy? Huh? I told you ain't nothing those books for you, boy. Just a bunch of dumb letters and words that don't mean nothing, boy." There ain't nothing in that book for you. You got slaves to do with the water, boy. You know, other slaves get their eyes plucked out for trying to read. They get their toes, they get their tongues cut out for just trying to read. And, and you got a nerve, the nerve to do this, and I'm good to you, boy. So I was going to beat you real good today, boy. You ain't going to never try to read again. Grandfather was beat by a master so bad that day, and the met master. And the grandfather refused to cry. So the only thing that came down from his eyes was um was blood. Grandfather barely made his way over to the big house and, and, and passed past the no screams on it. And the no screams on is where they where they take some of the sla- slaves and they um they, they kill them. And, and ain't nobody hear them scream. And he passed the no screams on and got right back to the slave quarters and and then and, and knocked through the door and then his son, his son, his son woke up and said, Pop, you woke me up, Pop, man, now that door is Pop, Pop, you bleeding, Pop, why are you, why you bleeding, Pop? Pop, are you trying to read again, Pop? Pop, stop trying to read, Pop. I believe what Master said, ain't nothing those books for us, Pop. Just a bunch of dumb letters and words that don't mean nothing, Pop. We, we got slaves to do in the morning, Pop. We got to read, Pop, please. Stop trying to read, Pop. Please do it for me. And grandfather looked down at his son and shook his head. And, and marched right back over to the big house. He got right next to the no scream zone. It was like it was like it's like Master knew that he was coming back. So in his left hand, Master had his old sick, his old sick bloodhounds in his right hand. He had his he had his river. He saw Granny Father. He looked at Granny Father and his old sick bloodhounds and the old sick barks started barking. He started bark, 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 bark. What you doing out this lane again, bark? Huh? You trying to get in those books again, bark? See, I'm just playing with you, boy, but tonight I just may kill you, boy. I told you, ain't nothing in those books for you, boy. And grandfather said, Master, in all my years of slaving for you, Master, I've never been disobedient, Master. Mm-mm, no, Master, but I know. I know there must be some of those books, Master. Otherwise, you wouldn't be beating me so bad for just trying to read, Master. But I know, Master, my kids ain't going to be slaves in their whole lives, Master. If I don't learn how to read and teach them so they can teach their kids, then I'm going to tell my kids to, to keep trying to read so they can tell their kids that one day we ain't going to be slaves no more, Master. So, 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 it's either you're going to kill me, Master. Because I was, I was going to read, Master. I was going to read. Oh, sorry. I got to uh, carry away. Um, that's the story of my great-great-grandfather. Uh, I call him Grandfather. Thank y'all. Thank you.